y'all welcome back to my channel if you new here welcome join the family ah, look at the top of his head <laughs> before i start make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram at your fave pinky tiktok at your fave pinky with two eyes at the end and snap at it's the real pinky all that is linked in the description box below now let's get right into it if you came here just for the dental hygiene Q&A, um, you can go ahead and just skip to 5 minutes and 15 seconds because that's when the questions start. But if not, then you can just stay right here and watch me do my hair. This was my first time ever doing my own hair and I decided not to do all of it because I had just got a full retwist like two weeks before this. So I didn't want to have no boneless locks. So I just redid the front so it could look nice when I go outside. I was on my way to a charcuterie board party, so I, of course I had to do my hair, even if it was just like an intimate thing. I always just want to look good. Now, like I said, this is my first time doing my own hair, so I didn't know how it was going to turn out. But you will see in a few minutes here that it turned out really well. Like, it looked so nice. But I'm going to just go ahead and shut up so y'all can just watch me do it. I put some music on in the background so you don't get bored. And once again, if you want to just skip to the questions, it's at 515. Or if you want to just watch, just go ahead and watch. I also wanted to say, if you comment on my ashy hands, you are anti-black.
as you may know if you're not new here i'm a dental hygiene student i just started the program in the summer and right now i'm in my second semester so i do content on it mainly on tiktok but i did make a youtube video on it my first dental hygiene youtube video the other day if you still haven't watched that make sure you go check it out it should be the video before this one i don't know how to link stuff to my video so i'm gonna just tell y'all to go watch it <laughs> But on my TikTok page, some people like to hit me up on Instagram and just ask me certain questions about the dental hygiene program and basically just come to me for a little bit of insight on the program. And so I decided to just come on here and answer some of the most asked questions that I get. I also went on my Instagram right before I started this video and I posted, um, you know, the little question sticker telling people to ask me any questions that they may have about the dental hygiene program so i got those questions too so while i'm doing my makeup uh i'm gonna just be answering some questions i don't plan on doing like no heavy ass makeup because uh, first of all i don't know if i said this already yet but i'm going to a charcuterie party and that's basically when you put the food on the board and everybody comes to the board and they be all fun or whatever but yeah it's a it's technically a party but it's not like a party party but i still just want to look cute me personally i don't go outside that often so when i do go outside i like to pop out honey and by pop out i mean look good as fuck so i'm gonna do like some little light makeup i don't plan on doing like no big extravagant ass full beat like i'm gonna go to a damn dinner party i just plan on doing a little something something you know a little some some out of pizzazz y'all it's so hard to do eyebrows on camera so i'm gonna come back after i'm done with the eyebrows and then we go get into the q a a few minutes later okay eyebrows is done i just did like a little light eyebrow because i don't be liking that big thick ass boxy eyebrow people be doing so i just do mine real like i'm gonna make this disclaimer in every video or makeup video that i make i am no professional i am not no makeup artist and i don't even I barely even wear makeup unless I'm going somewhere and that is rare because I'm always at school or work so don't watch this video think you're getting a tutorial or you finna see the right way to do makeup because you're not this is just my version okay okay now let's get into the question one of the main questions that I get about the dental hygiene program is what was the prereqs that I had to take in order to get into the program so I have to take anatomy and Physi physiology one and two I had to take a sociology class, psychology class, English 101, of course. I would have had to take a math class, but I had already passed the math required. Wait, no, that's not what happened. I did pass math in high school, but for this program, you need it. Either you need to complete a um, basic level math course while you're in college, or if your SAT math score was high enough, then you don't need to take the test at all. So that's how i end up getting it in because if you know you know math is not my subject but luckily my sat test score is it the sat or is it? that my sat test score was in the perfect range for them to just to send me to the program so i'm so thankful for that because if i would have had to take a math test again it's no telling if i was gonna get in that program or not okay I'm just keeping it real with y'all. I'm not no male person, which is why this dental hygiene program is the best. And that's one thing that they always stress to us. They be like, if you hate math, you are in the right career path. Because us dental hygienists or dental hygiene students, we don't really mess with the maths like that, okay? I also had to take one elective, and I decided to take humanities. That class was so easy. I took it online, so that was just in and out. Another question I get is, how am I enjoying the program? baby i love it especially clinic like that's my favorite part because we actually get to get in there and practice what we're going to be doing for like a career like it's fun to actually get out in the field and actually do stuff right now um since i'm only in my second semester we're not taking patients right now but by the spring they're gonna require us to take patients so that's why i'm trying to take it serious now so i can actually know what i'm doing when it comes downtown to actually start taking patients I'm gonna mix in some of the questions from um, the little Instagram question thing that I did. Most performed procedure or practice? Um, well, I'm quite literally a dental hygienist. So the most performed procedure would be teeth cleanings. That's what we do is 
we clean your teeth and provide preventive dental care and basically just give you instructions on how to keep your teeth clean and um, healthy and if we notice anything off about your teeth we try to give you some guidance on what you should do in order to fix it or how to what lifestyle changes you need to make in order to fix whatever problems we see with your teeth and I guess that kind of answered this um other question that says define it as in define dental hygiene um yeah dental hygiene is just like oral cleanliness your oral health what you do in your own time to ensure that your teeth are in the best condition that they can be by the way i'm only using concealers because i feel like um foundation is way too heavy for the looks that i be going for foundation is for if you wear like a full beat i don't really like to wear a full beat i just like to wear like a natural everyday look when i'm going out how long did it take for me to actually get into the program um i'm assuming y'all mean like when i began the process of like applying for the program in that case um so i took my placement test in february i didn't find out i got it to accept it to the program until like april but really i got accepted into the program like right after i took the test it's just i didn't know i got accepted because they expected me to log into some type of portal in order to see my acceptance letter but this portal they were talking about, I had no knowledge of. Like, I, I never knew anything about this portal. I never knew we had to log into there in order to find out if we got to the program or not or anything. So that was kind of weird, if you ask me. Placement test in February. Found out I got accepted in April. And it's so funny because, if you know, April, in April, I was on vacation. All while I'm on vacation, I was panicking. I was like, oh my God, I don't know if I got accepted. They said the orientation is going to be in April. And what if I'm gone? And they accept me and I can't even make it. And then they be like, well, your seat is taken. But as soon as I got back, I'm like, okay, let me check in with them to see what's going on. So I ended up sending um the admissions office an email. I'm like, hey, it's been a few months now. The lady told me I had to wait two weeks before I found out if I'm accepted, but I haven't heard anything at all. So um, could you let me know what's going on? She was like, oh, you have to log into this portal in order to get your acceptance letter. And I was just like, y'all wasn't going to tell nobody that. But as soon as I came back, I got that acceptance letter. Orientation was two weeks after that, still in the month of April. After that, um, and orientation is when they gave us all of our um, requirements, like um, the physical and everything. And from that time, that's when I started getting all my physicals and like everything that I need to start the program. And my first day of classes was June 13th. And I remember that shit so vividly because I was so excited. I'm like, oh my God, I'm finna start the program. I've been waiting for this for years. Literally though, like I've literally been waiting for this. Hope and praying for this since I started college. So it's like rewarding to see what I manifested in my dreams, everything that I wanted to do. I actually happened to before my eyes, like I love it here. Someone asked, how's the program at my school? So I go to Prairie State and um, some of the ladies, they plan on applying to the dental hygiene program at my school. And I've only been in this program since the summertime. So I'm just gonna give my honest opinion of what I think about the program at this school. Um, I mean, I like it. I feel like I like it mainly because this is something that I've been wanting to do. So I'm just like on cloud nine. But overall, like, I feel like this program is nice. They, the instructors really do give you the tools you need or to succeed. They tell you like, oh, this is gonna be on board. So make sure you pay close attention to this. Oh, they be like, oh, well, you're not doing this positioning right. You need to do it right. Your modified pen graph is not correct. Let me help you with that. Like, I just feel like they do what they're supposed to do in order to help you. Well, most of the instructors, I should say. Somebody asked the average pay rate. And honestly, that really just depends on the state you live in. Um, in some states, their dental hygienists make like 40K a year. Other states, people make 60K. And in other states, the dental hygienists make over 100k a year it really just depends on where you live any state you go to you got to know the dental hygienists are making bank dental hygiene is one of those career where you're always going to be needed people are always going to need their teeth clean people are always going to go to the dental office people are always just going to have something dental they need done because the mouth is a very important part of your body like you could literally get sick and die just off something happening in your mouth so people are always going to need 
a dental hygienist to professionally clean their teeth or to um, provide them with like a little bit of information on how they could keep their teeth clean, how they could make sure that their oral health is up to par. Got my remedy by Ari Boo. I'm trying to see like what I look I should go for. I should low key do like a I should low key do like a pink eye look because my outfit is pink, but I just feel like that's a little bit much. Mm, I don't know. I low-key just want to do like a, a neutral look. I want this makeup to be as natural as possible. So, hmm. I'm just going with a small amount of eyeshadow. Like, I'm literally only putting it down here. The amount of schooling that you need to become a dental hygienist, including the prereqs and everything, assuming that you go all the way, that you go, I'm saying this all wrong. Assuming that you go all the way through the program, like how it's laid out to be, you will only be in school for four years. Two years of prereqs and two years in the program. So what that means for me is I will be graduating in 2025 because I just started the program this year. And you have to do two years of schooling before you can get your degree and your license and all of that. Okay, that's enough for the eyeshadow. You see how you could barely see it? That's how I like my makeup. And I know somebody out there is probably going to be like, well, if you can barely see it, what's the point of the makeup? Don't, don't, don't question me. I can wear my makeup how I want to. If I want my makeup to be barely visible, then that's how I'ma do it. And I don't need nobody telling me that it's wrong. Let me dust this powder. Oh, y'all got me right here looking like a ghost. Give me a second while I do my eyeliner. Okay, I did my eyeliner and put my um my lashes on. I'ma answer a few more questions and then right back to the quiet little aesthetic video. So somebody asked, do I think that they should um become a dental assistant first before they enter the dental hygiene program and the short answer to that I would say is not necessarily because one thing I can say if you was a dental assistant before you became a dental hygienist you will have to forget literally everything you know because everything in hygiene is completely different from everything in assisting so everything you think you know about dentistry from being an assistant you're gonna have to throw all that out the window just so you can relearn everything because it's so different now if you want to become an assistant first just to like get your feet wet and to like have a little bit of experience in the dental world okay cool like yeah i will recommend doing that just in case you want to like get your feet wet see if you really like the dental field yeah you can do that first but overall you do not need to do the other program in order to you do not need to do the other program in order to become a dental hygienist because they're just going to teach you everything anyway so you really don't need to if you don't want to the same brush i use for my blush i'm gonna use that for the contour um this contour is barely coming off is this what y'all like about cream contour I never actually tried cream contour, so I'm not sure how I like it, but I mean, so far what I'm seeing is it's barely coming off on my brush, and I'm using a Ruby Kisses one, so don't say who is that, that useless ass contour. No, it's not. Everybody be using this contour, even on their damn wig. Someone asked, is the program hard? Of course, but the program has to be hard or else everyone would become a dental hygienist and me personally i don't want just anybody in my mouth so yes i do feel like this program should be hard and it is hard i be fighting for my life but there's what you got to do to get to where you want to be so i ain't really tripping off that lastly is the lip i'm gonna get my this brown lip line that i got from the beauty supply I don't like putting the lip liner like all over my lip like down here <sighs> because I hate when the lip liner get on my chin then it just be right there looking stupid so I'm just not gonna put it there I'm gonna use this cinnamon roll or is it cinnamon bone cinnamon roll butter gloss and then right on top of that I'm gonna go over it with this remedy by Ari um, conceited gloss. It's kind of like a pink tinted gloss. And 
and boom the face is done i'm gonna just take my beauty blender and just go over my face one more time just to make sure everything is blended hit it with some setting spray i probably shouldn't have did that after i would already put my lashes on but whatever i'm gonna put a little highlight under my brow just for a little pizzazz i just found out that i don't really like the blush i liked i mean that i used so i'm gonna just try a different one I'm sorry I gotta do this, but I'm running kind of late because I was supposed to left out like a little minute ago. I started getting ready at like 3 and it's like 6.30 now, but as you can see, I finished my makeup, took the clips out of my hair. My hair looks so cute. I'm loving it and I did that myself, period. Period. As you can all also see, I put some nails on, obviously press-ons because I can't wear nails while in the program. I put my little tea necklace on. Watch bracelet. Um, excuse my pockets. Um, I only got this little old purse, which is another dish to the outfit. The silver purse, boo. And then I got my fashion glasses in here. So I'll probably wear those while I'm taking my pictures. But yeah, like I said, I'm running late and I'm finna run out the door right now. So if you want to see this full outfit, just go over to my Instagram. Nine out of ten, these pictures are gonna be posted before this video will be posted. So go over to my Instagram at your fave pinky to save my YouTube name. My TikTok is your fave pinky with two Y's at the end, and my Snapchat is the real pinky. Make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Support your girl so I could grow. Period. Until next time.